All right, hello everyone. So today's video is going to be a manga collection tour of my 1500 volume manga collection. So before we begin, I want to start by saying that one, I'm not going to be able to talk about all these series in depth because I have way too many and I don't want to do that to you or to me for editing the video. I don't want to do that. Um, I think when I have a little bit of a different setup, I might do this video again and then talk about some more of the series in depth, maybe do a couple parts of the manga collection tour. But for this video, I'm not going to do too much of that. I might mention one series or another briefly, but I'm not going to talk about every single one. I'm probably just going to mention which volumes I have, if it's complete or not, stuff like that. Also, if you're curious how long I've been collecting, I've been collecting since 2014, um, but pretty heavily since 2016. So this collection is about six years old about um so that's why it's this big and lastly if the lighting is bad in some parts of this video i'm sorry the lighting in this room is really really bad it's not great um you can probably tell that from my videos but the lighting in this room is not very good and i don't really have the capacity to fix it at the moment so we'll deal with what we have uh but yeah that's everything i think that i wanted to mention at the beginning of this video so let's just jump right in so here is the first shelf most of it um we'll go through it all this is probably the biggest shelf it's the main shelf also i am not very tall and these shelves are so if the camera is shaky i apologize it really gets tiring to hold my arms up above my head for this long so so first up here we have vinland saga volumes 1 through 12 this is up to date i still haven't read these last two volumes but i'll get there at some point this series isn't going anywhere so it also releases very slowly, so I'm not in a hurry to get to those two volumes. Next I have For the Kid I Saw in My Dreams, volumes 1 through 6. I don't know if this is up to date or not. I bought this in a bundle on Right Stuff, and so I have that. Next is not even a manga, it's a light novel, so it's Bacchano, volume 1 through 17. I also have this Agretico giant Funko Pop figure, which I really like. This is one of my favorite things on my shelves. Next I have Love Use and Full Metal Alchemist volumes 1 through 15. Volume 16 is on its way to me. And then I have the little complete four panel comics book. Then we'll go down here and over here. This is my other problem with filming this video is I have lots of double stacked manga. So I'm not sure the best way to show this to you. Maybe I'll pull out these volumes and show you the volumes behind. Actually, I'm not even going to do it for the shelf because there's just one series behind these figures. I also was talking about these figures. These two are from Skate the Infinity, uh, Joe and Cherry, and then I have uh, Joseph and Caesar from JoJo Part 2. And behind there, I have The Promised Neverland, volumes 1 through 20. That is complete. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about that, except I like that series. Then we'll go in front. I have Burn the Witch, Astro Lost in Space, 1 through 5. Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, 1 through 12. Mal, volume 1 through 3. Radiant volumes 1 through 12. I'm not complete with this one. I have a couple more volumes to buy before I'm caught up with that one. And then Arslan volumes 1 through 15, which I have not read in a long time. Uh, and then Kaiju number 8 volume 1. And behind there we have Yu Yu Hakusho volumes 1 through 19. I believe this is still a little bit difficult for people to find, but I bought my volumes a long time ago. Then I have Chainsaw Man volumes 1 through 9. Volume 10 is on its way to me. I have Mob Psycho 100 volumes 1 through 7, and then the spin off thing, Mob Psycho 100 Reagan. Have not read that yet. Then I have Spy Family volumes 1 through 6. Volume 7 of this is also on its way to me. All of my pre orders have been delayed. Then I have Old Maidens in Our Savage Season volumes 1 through 8 complete. Haven't read that one yet either. Bale Metamorphosis volumes 1 through 5. I've talked about this semi recently. I enjoyed it. And then I have Descending Stories, Volumes 1 through 10, complete. All of these are complete series. This one, you can't really tell what this is, but it's Joseph Joestar. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wanted to find the Caesar one to match this, but for now, I just have this one. My friend gave that to me. Uh, next is one of my favorite shelves. So this is my sports manga shelf. Um, it goes all the way across here. It looks really nice when I have decent lighting, which is never. Um, but, you know. So this has a bunch of complete sports manga series honestly i would like to put these two standees down here but they won't fit so that's why this one is down here instead of up there with the promised neverland and why these two are not down here with the sports stuff so first we have eye shield 21 you can't see the numbers on these volumes because they're behind a bunch of other manga but this is the complete series volumes 1 through 37 i have every single volume of that 
And then I have Slam Dunk Volumes 1 through 31 complete. It ends over there. If you asked me what is the most perfect manga, my answer would be Slam Dunk every time. Next is Hikaru no Go. So this is Volumes 1 through 17 up here. And then it continues over here to Volume 23, which is the complete series. Then I have Haiku, Volumes 1 through 45, which is also complete. And then I have, I believe this is the first art book. This one came out before the big art book that everyone has now. But I bought this a long time ago, and I thought it looked good like this um, next to the Haiku volumes. And then I have Kuroko's Basketball, Volumes 1 through 30, and the Omnibus is complete. And everything on here is my LGBT manga, so we'll go through these. Hopefully really quickly, I have a lot of these, and there are lots of really short series, so it's going to take a while. So I have Blue Flag, Volumes 1 through 8 complete, one of my favorite manga. Boys Run the Riot, Volumes 1 through 4 complete. I read this recently, I'll talk about it in my April reading wrap-up. Um, the Bride Was a Boy, Cherry Magic, Volumes 1 through 3. Claudine, Donuts Under Crescent Moon, Volumes 1 and 2. I Think Our Son is Gay, Volumes 1 and 2. And I have Kase-san series, so just a bunch of different volumes. I think it's seven volumes right now. Um, it's ongoing still. Then I have the My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness series. I always trip over that title. Um, so there's four volumes. Actually, there's five volumes in that right now. I still haven't received the most recent volume yet, but I'll get it when I get it. Um, My Summer Review, Restart After Coming Back Home, Road Queen, which is technically not a manga, but it's released by Seven Seas, so I put it here. Um, Suraz and Mai, the light novels. I have the manga somewhere. We'll see it in a second, probably. Then I have What Did You Eat Yesterday, Volumes 1 through 17. Pretty sure that's up to date. After Hours, Volumes 1 through 3, complete. I Cannot Reach You, 1 through 3. Deco Boko Sugar Days, um, How Do We Relationship, Volumes 2, 3, and 4. I'm missing Volume 1, but I'll get it. It's on order. And then I have Koi Monogatari, Volumes 1 and 2. I believe these are short stories. Uh, My Brother's Husband, Volumes 1 and 2 in the hardcover editions. One of my favorite manga, and I'm really excited for the author's new work called Our Colors. I believe that's coming out pretty soon. Then I have A Tropical Fish Yearns for Snow, Volumes 1 through 8. Just one more volume of that to be released, and then I'll read the whole thing. This Wonderful Season with You, There Are Things I Can't Tell You, Are Not So Lonely, Planet Travel Guide, Volume 1. I try to keep the ugly Tokyo Pop volumes together because they're really ugly. <laughs> then I have My Love Mix Up, Volumes 1 and 2, and Ted Dance, Volumes 1 through 6. I believe that one's up to date as well. Then we'll go back in front. I have Bad Boys Happy Home, Volumes 1 through 3. That's complete as well. Bloom Into You, 1 through 8, complete. And then the novels, Focusing on Psyche and the Bloom Into You on Anthology, Volumes 1 and 2. Um, Bloom Into You is one of my favorite eerie manga, so you can probably tell. <laughs> Boy Meets Maria, Classmates, Volumes 1 through 3, com nope, that's not complete. Volumes 1 through 3, Girlfriends, um, this is a complete collection, so Omnibus 1 and 2. I hate that I have to separate these, but I kind of have the shelf in alphabetical order, and then I gave up halfway through. So um, for now, these are separated. I'll probably fix that eventually, but for now, they live like that. And I have Given Volumes 1 through 6, Goodbye My Rose Garden, a really underrated Yuri manga that I really enjoy. Go for it, Nakamura. Hana and Hina off. Af I can't say that word. <laughs> Hana and Hina After School, Volumes 1 through 3 complete. I Hear the Sunspots, um, The Original, Theory of Happiness, and then Limit Volumes 1 through 3. This is technically complete, but it's also still ongoing. Um, but these three parts are complete. So. Um, I married my best friend to shut my parents up, uh, Jackass, Love Me for Who I Am, Volumes 1 through 5, Melting Lover, Nameless Asterism, Volumes 1 through 5 complete, this one's complete as well. Our Dining Table is really adorable, Our Dreams at Dusk, Volumes 1 through 4 complete, Our Teachers Are Dating, Volumes 1 through 3, uh, here's the manga of Saraz and Mai focusing on these two characters. Listen, I tried to watch Saraz and Mai when it was releasing weekly the anime was and I like forgot to finish watching it um but I still bought all the Saraz and my stuff because I liked what I watched of it but that I never finished it so I'm trying to go finish the anime before I read the other stuff but I'm really bad at watching anime so eventually this will happen and I have Seaside Stranger Volume 1 Total Eclipse of the Eternal Heart which is really dark Seven Days Monday through Sunday uh Toriton Birds of a Feather 
the two lions and a white rose in bloom and then i have my little octopus guys all right down here is where the lighting is gonna get really bad and it's really hard for me to film down here because there's no room so here we have become you this is a it's volume one i don't know if volume two will ever be released because volume one came out in 2018 i believe and we have no word on the second volume but that's like a music manga um, so I put that one next to Blue Giant, volumes one through four. I'm waiting on the last volume of this to be out before I can read the whole thing. The Girl from the Other Side, volumes one through 11, complete. Then I have Gunslinger Girl, volumes one through 15, complete. Lots of people have been talking about this recently, and it really makes me want to reread the series. Um, I read it a while ago, and I really enjoyed it, and I feel like I need to reread it soon. Then we have The Legend of Dororo and Hyakimaru, volumes one through four. This is kind of a similar story as Siraz and Mai, where I watched a little bit of the anime and I started buying the manga, but I feel like I can't read the manga until I finish watching the anime. And I'm really bad at watching anime. So it just lives on my shelves, being neglected. Then I have Satoko and Nada, volumes one through four complete. Uh, Kageki Shoujo, The Curtain Rises is that big one right there. And then the sequel, original series, whatever. And then I have Spirit Circle, Volumes 1 through 6. Both of these are really underrated series. I have Ajin, Volumes 1 through 17 complete. I really like this series as well. One of my favorite horror manga, I guess, technically, if you can call it a horror manga. It's more like a suspense thriller manga. Then we have my Natsume Ono shelf, I guess, along with Princess Jellyfish. But we have House of Five Leaves, Volumes 1 through 8 complete. Akka, Volumes 1 through 6 complete. And then the spinoff. Aka, I don't remember what it's called, um, but those two volumes complete. Ristorante Paradiso, and then Gente, which is the spin-off of Ristorante Paradiso, that's complete. Then we'll just go this way. Then I have Not Simple, which is a great manga. Danza, La Quinta, Camera, I think is how you say that, and then Tesoro. And then I have Princess Jellyfish, which is not by Natsume Ono, but is really good. I recently finished reading this. And I'll let you know what I think of it in my wrap-up for April. And I have this little octopus, which is definitely not a jellyfish, but I felt like it fit the theme of the manga, so I put it there. Then I have Children of the Sea, Volumes 1 through 5, complete. Really good manga. Doro Heidoro, Volumes 1 through 23, complete. Also a really good manga. Blade of the Immortal, Volumes 1 through 10. This is one of the series I feel like I have to read this year because I've had it for a really long time and I have not read it. And it's kind of a classic, so I feel like I need to read it. Then I have some newish random stuff here because it fit here. I have Heavenly Delusion, Volumes 1 and 2, Maiden Railways, Island in a Puddle, Volume 1. This is Pez. This is a um, full color manga, I believe. I bought that recently from Denpa. I have A Secret, which is a light novel. And then these are not light novels, but the other word for it that I can't think of right now. So I have The Scum Villains, Self Saving System, Volume 1. Heaven's Official Blessing, Volume 1, and The Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, Volume 1. And then if you thought it was difficult to film those ones up there, I literally have to lay on the floor to film these. <laughs> so that's interesting. Down here I have Gintama, Volumes 1 through 23. I guess I can call that complete. It's as complete as it will get in English, but it's not the complete series, obviously. But I have everything that I possibly could have in English, so it's complete for that purpose. Then I have the rare tiny gap where I can maybe fit more manga, and I have Toriko, volumes 1 through 43, complete. I'm sorry, it's really hard to film down here. <laughs> um, I need to get back into Toriko. I stopped reading at volume 20, and then I have about half the series left to finish, but I'm going to start it over probably and finish the whole thing. And then I have some random volumes of Blue Exorcist. I have volumes 1, 2, 4, and 8. I'm going to try to read that on the Shonen Jump app before I buy any more of it because I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Then I have Nabari no O, volumes 1 through 14. I bought this because I liked Our Dreams at Dusk, and this is by the same creator. I've read two volumes of this, and the pacing was horrendous, but I do want to get back into it because I've heard pretty good things. Then we have Itsuwaru Bito, volumes 1 through 23 complete. That is a very underrated manga as well. Then I have Pandora Hearts, volumes 1 through 24 complete. If you're wondering why some of my volumes have plastic on them, like this one and this first volume of Blade of the Immortal, is because I've owned these volumes for a really long time and I used to bag all my manga and then I got way too lazy to to do that for all my manga. 
So any of these you see are old manga that I've had for a while. Anyway, um, this is probably the manga I am most scared of in my collection because I tried to read the first two volumes. Well, I did read the first two volumes and it took me an hour to read each one. And that is way too slow for me. But I am determined to eventually read this manga. It will happen eventually. Then I have Seraph of the End volumes one through six. This is in a similar place as Blue Exorcist where I going to read it on the Shonen Jump app first before I read any, or before I buy any more of this because I don't know if I'm gonna like it even more than Blue Exorcist so this is the only hint of me being a fairy tale fan but I do actually legitimately enjoy fairy tale as a series I understand it's not that good but I kind of like it <laughs> um so this is a little hint that I like fairy tale I have fairy tale ice trail volumes one through two complete um, fairy Tale Zero and Fairy Tale Road Knight, and then the spin off, Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest. I did used to own all 63 volumes of Fairy Tale, but then I got them digitally in a humble bundle, and I liked that better. I didn't need to own all of them. I don't like Fairy Tale that much. <laughs> and then I got Murdoch Scramble Volume 1 recently. I put it there because that's where it fits. It's by the same creator as A Silent Voice and To Your Eternity. Well, it's by the same artist, not the actual story. Okay, then I have Die Dark Volumes 1 through 3 by the same creator as Dora Hidoro. I have Devil Man vs. Hades 1 through 3 complete, Devil Man Grimoire Volumes 1 through 5 complete, and then the original Devil Man Classic Collection Volumes 1 and 2 complete. So that's everything on this shelf. Like I said before, I'm not going to go into too much detail for everything because it would take too long. If you have any questions about any manga I have in my collection, please write them in the comments and I will gladly respond to you. Also, at this point in the video, if you're wondering what my um, organization strategy is, there isn't one. I mostly try to keep manga of the same size together and then kind of the same vibes, I guess, whatever I feel like is a similar vibe. Like up here, we kind of have shonen manga, but then this shelf is different. I just put this together because I like the different colors. Um, we have my sports manga shelf. We have my hardcover manga shelf. But then, like, down here, it just gets weird. <laughs> um, so it's just things that are similar in size and vibes, I guess. But other than that, there is really no organization to my collection at all. And I know that will frustrate people. I don't really care. I know where things are. I can find them very easily. Uh, so that was a good intermission. So now we will turn over here and go to this shelf. And the lighting is going to be even worse over here. I apologize. First, I have Vagamon Volumes 1 through 12 in the Fizzbigs, and then Volume 37 to complete the series, as complete as it's going to get in English, probably, until Takiko anyway decides to go back to it, if he ever does. Anyway, a masterpiece. I love this manga. I love anything by Takiko anyway. Uh, speaking of which, next I have Real Volumes 1 through 15, up to date. Love Real as well. This one didn't really fit with my other sports manga, so that's why it went over here with Vagabond. Then I have The Day I Divorced God and The Day I Was Forced to Marry God, which I believe is a nonfiction manga. And then I have Kitaro. These are the short story collections. I don't think this is the order they go in. In fact, I know it's not the order they go in, but it doesn't really matter. I put them in rainbow order because I felt like it. Uh, this is my little Shigeru Mizuki section, by the way. Next, I have Showa, A History of Japan. Um, goes through the history of Japan. I haven't read this yet. You have to be in a certain stage to read nonfiction manga um and i haven't gotten there with this one yet and then i have tono monogatari and onward towards our noble deaths also by shigeru mizuki then i have my little horror section um shuza oshimi on the top but now i have too many so it starts to run over and then junji ito in front so we have happiness one through ten complete inside mari volumes one through eight almost complete this is my favorite shuza oshimi work so far and i've read all of these now um so that one's my favorite so far and then shino can't say her name flowers of evil complete volumes one through four then i have blood on the tracks volumes one through seven and then i have volume eight over here then junji ito's dissolving classroom not good one of my least favorite junji ito manga um it's not my least favorite i'll tell you my least favorite in a second but this one is pretty down low on the list and I have Junji Ito's Cat Diary um, in the regular, normal Kodansha version. I love this manga. And then No Longer Human. Haven't read this one yet. Uzumaki is great. Haven't read this one yet. Tomie Gyo is my least favorite Junji Ito manga. I hate this manga, but I need it to complete my collection. So that's why I still have it, but I absolutely hate it. Venus in the Blind Spot. Haven't read this one yet. Fragments of Horror. I read that one a while ago. 
Sensor, Remina, Lovesickness, Shiver, Smash, Deserter, Frankenstein. I've read some of these and haven't read other ones. Actually, the only ones I haven't read are Lovesickness and, um, is that it? Lovesickness? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so the only ones left for me to read are No Longer Human, Tomie, Venus in the Blind Spot, and Lovesickness. I've read the other ones. And then over here is what I like to call my more mature shelf, <laughs> where I have to think harder when I read these things. Um, except for Portis. Portis is not good. This just fit here, so I put it here. This is a horror manga. It's like kind of like you die in the game, you die in real life stuff. It's bad, but I kind of liked it. Um, then I have Utsubora by Asumiko Nakamura. This is a great psychological manga. I need to reread this as well. Tropic of the Sea, Dream Fossil by Satoshi Kon. Uh, Mew by Asami Tezuka, Book of Human Insects, and Crime of Punishment, and Storm Fairy, and Melody of Iron, all by Asami Tezuka. I kind of had to fit these this way, otherwise they wouldn't fit on the shelf. And then I have Opus by Satoshi Kon. Uh, and then my Taiyo Matsumoto section over here. I have number 5, volumes 1 through 3. Just need volume 4 and then I'll read the whole thing. Sunny, volumes 1 through 6. I love this manga. It's very, very good. Cats of the Louvre, which was weird. <laughs> Ping Pong, also very, very good. And then Tech on King Crete, uh, Black and White. I have not read that one yet, but I've heard good things about it. Then we have my, I almost called it my Master Keaton shelf. It's, by no it's my Naoki Urasawa shelf. But I do have 1 through 12 of Master Keaton. This is complete. Technically, the story is not by Naoki Urasawa. I believe he just drew it. I think that's how it works. I haven't read that one yet. Uh, Monster, volumes 1 through 9. Obviously, very, very good. I like Monster a lot. 20th Century Boys, volumes 1 through 11. And then the continuation, 21st Century Boys. Very good. This is complete. Pluto, volumes 1 through 8. I believe this is my favorite Naoki Urasawa manga, however I am biased because I really like robots, and that's what this is about. And then I have Asadora, volumes 1 through 4. I believe this is up to date, I think. I have not read this yet. I have Muji Rushi um, and Sneens, which are both not great. Uh, then I have The Kingdom of the Gods, which I believe is a manhwa about zombies. I have not read this yet. At Night I Become a Monster, which is another light novel, and Perfect Blue, I believe is also a light novel. I have to check, actually. Yep, it's a light novel. Those are words. Uh, then I have Gambling Apocalypse Kaiji, Volumes 1 through 3. I've heard some really good things about this, and I've been reading and watching some similar things as well. So I want to get to this soon. I haven't read it yet. Phantom Tales of the Night, Volumes 1 through 2. The only reason I have this is because I won a giveaway on Yen Press's Twitter, and they gave me this along with um, Ibitsu? Ibitsu. That's how you say that. Um, I've already gotten rid of Ibitsu, and I've read that one. I have not read this yet. In fact, I'm not really interested in it, but I've heard very good things about it, surprisingly, and the covers are some of the most gorgeous covers in manga that I've seen. It'll happen eventually, but for now, I just have these two volumes. I'm not going to buy any more until I read those two. Then, I'm sorry, it's really hard to film over here because of the angle of these bookshelves, but I have Barakamon, volumes 1 through 8, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, and the um, art book, I guess, 18 plus 1. Um, if you didn't know, Barakamon... It was announced it's going to get a reprint so don't buy these volumes for outrageous prices because it's going to get reprinted um when it does i'm going to replace volume seven because it's obviously an old library copy uh, but for now i'll just wait until they get reprinted and then i'll buy the rest that i'm missing uh then over here i have yoshino zuikara volumes one through three complete by the same author as barakamon have not read that one yet either i have watched the anime for barakamon i just haven't read the manga uh, then I have Hell's Paradise, volumes 1 through 12, I think. Yep, I'm just waiting on the last volume to get to me, and then it will be complete. Some of my favorite spines in my collection right here. It's a shame I have to cover them up with this stuff, but for now, that's where it goes until I get a new setup. Uh, then I have Oku, volumes 1 through 18. I'm just waiting on volume 19. I think I don't have volume 19 yet. I believe that's on its way to me. I can't even see what volume that is. I think I need volume 19 still, um, and then I will read the whole thing because it will be complete. Uh, and then I have In This Corner of the World. Uh, then down here is where it starts to get really random. <laughs> um, this is kind of my overflow shelf. Everything over here that doesn't fit anywhere else just goes here. So, you know, we have Yotsuba, volumes 1 through 15, up to date. Yankees, volumes 1 through 6. That's a great manga, highly underrated, very funny. Uh, Blue Period, Volumes 1 through 5. Um, volume 2 is really making me sad with how short it is. But, you know. A Man and His Cat, Volumes 1 through 5. And Blake Canvas, Volumes 1 through 5. Complete. Please ignore 
this unsightly part of my bookshelf. I'm once again sitting on the floor to film this. <laughs> um, but then we have Record of Ragnarok, Volume 1, Ride in a Crimson, Volumes 1 through 4, The Walking Cat, um, a zombie apocalypse manga, also very good. The Witch and the Beast, Volumes 1 through 6, uh, Alice in Borderland, Volume 1, What's Michael, Volumes 1 and 2. I don't think that's complete. I believe there's a third one, but I might have just made that up in my head. I'm not sure. Uh, then I have The Drifting Classroom, Volumes 1 through 3. That used to be up there with my other horror stuff, but it doesn't fit anymore because I got too much Junji Ito and Shuzo Oshimi, so this is where it lives now. All right, back there I have Robo Sapiens, Tales of Tomorrow, a great manga I talked about recently. Neon Genesis Evangelion, Volumes 1 through 5, complete. This is another manga I have not yet gotten to that I really need to get to this year because it is a classic and I haven't read it yet and it's on my shelves for a long time. Uh, then I have No Guns Life, Volumes 1 through 11, maybe? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, uh, 1 through 11. I haven't read that yet. I think it's going to be complete at 13 volumes. I'm just waiting. Uh, Planet Test, Volumes 1 through 2, complete. This is by the author of Vinland Saga. That's a great manga. I really love that manga. Uh, Saturn Apartments, Volumes 1 through 7, complete. The reason that one's in plastic is because it's out of print, and it's also been in my collection for a long time, so that's why it's plastic wrapped. Um, but that's also a really good manga. If you can get your hands on it, it's kind of hard to find. Then I have Silver Spoon, Volumes 1 through 15, complete. A fantastic manga. Really great. Girls Last Tour, Volumes 1 through 6, complete. Also a fantastic manga. And I have Land of the Lustrous, Volumes 1 through 11. And Battle Royale, Angel's Border, which I will read as soon as I read the novel, which I've been trying to read for probably four years. Um, this one is going to be really hard to film because the volumes behind them are the same size as the volumes in front. So I have to do this. This is more sports manga that wouldn't fit on my other sports manga shelf. So I have Sayonara Football, volumes one through seven. And then I have, again, volumes one through 12, which is another underrated manga. That's about Owen Don, I think, or Cheer Squad or whatever. It's really good. Um, that's complete. Then I have Yo Mushi Pedal, volumes one through, what's back there, seven? I think. I'm sorry, it's really hard to film down here. Uh, 1 through 7. And then the rest. Uh, yep, so I have volumes 8 through 19. Um, that's up to date right now. And then I have Go With The Clouds, North by Northwest, volumes 1 through 5. That's also up to date. These are not sports manga anymore. They just fit here. Uh, and then I have Pink, Helter Skelter, and Enclosed Called Fat. Uh, then down here are my art books and other stuff. So I'll try to go through these pretty quickly because some of them are actually repeats. So I have Slam Dunk Illustrations. This is volume two, which is a lot bigger than volume one. So I put volume two here and volume one here. Otherwise it would look really weird on my shelf and I wouldn't like it. Um, but this is art by Takiko Inoue. So obviously I love this and I love Slam Dunk. Th these books are beautiful. Then I have the Full Metal Alchemist art book, Twisted Visions, which is a Junji Ito art book. Uh, the Haiku Complete Illustration Book, which is huge. This one is a Demon Slayer one. This is One Piece Color Walk, Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, I think there's like 13 of these out now. I used to buy them when they were released in Japanese, but now I have these compendium ones put out by Viz in English, so I buy those instead. I honestly kind of think these look better, though. Um, here, these are not art books. They're the Shuzo Oshimi shorts that release were recently released by Denpa on Twitter. Um, they don't fit anywhere else, so this is where I put them. They kind of fit there. Then I have Rohan at the Louvre, which is technically not an art book. It's also the only JoJo's Bizarre Adventure book I own anymore. Um, when they released the new Rohan manga, I'll buy that one, but I like the anime more for JoJo, so I don't own the manga anymore. I used to. Uh, then I have Mud and Sludge. This is a Doro Hidoro art book. I think, or I'm like, yeah, I think it is. It's not just Q Hayashida's art. I think it's just Dora Hidoro. Um, then I have Femme Fatale, which is a Shuzo Oshimi art book, Toilet Bon Hanako Kun, and Promise Neverland art book. I might rebuy this in English in the hardcover just because it comes in hardcover, but you know. Um, these are not art books, they're One Piece magazines. I used to try to collect every single one of these, but now there's like 15 of them and I don't have that kind of patience. So I do really like this one though because it's very pink. Um, then I have Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, which is not a art book. It's just a regular manga, but it's too big to fit anywhere else, so it lives here. Then I have the Junji Ito's Cat Diary Collector's Edition. Love this manga once again. 
this one glows in the dark. Um, then I have Posca Demizu art book. This is the artist of the Promised Neverland, but this is not a Promised Neverland art book. It's just other art that she's done. It's really pretty. Um, one Piece Pirate Recipes. This is a really terribly put together book. I hate this book. <laughs> um, but it's One Piece, so I bought it. I didn't know it was going to be like a children's book. It's really annoying. I hate it. And then I have Percy Jackson books, which are not manga, but they kind of fit here, so I put them there. Um, again, I have to reach over my head to show you these ones, and it's really annoying, so bear with me. Um, up there we have Mermaid Saga Volumes 1 and 2 Complete. I really like that manga, except for the ending. It sucks, but you know. Um, a Bride Story Volumes 1 through 8. I've had it for a really long time and haven't read it. Uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena. Yes, the complete series and then like the spin-off thing, I believe. And then Rose of Versailles, vol volumes one through five complete. Then I have Witch Hat Atelier, volumes one through six. That's not complete. Um, I'll get to that soon. Beastars, volumes one through 16. I think I'm waiting on a couple volumes of that to get to me as well. And then in front of that, I have Golden Kamui. Volumes 1 through 24. Uh, I've read five of these volumes. <laughs> um, so, you know, I heard this has recently ended, I believe, or it is ending, like, as we speak. And I'm excited for that, but also I don't know if I want to wait or just read it. So we'll see. Uh, next, we'll go back here. We have Yamanakun and the Seven Witches, volumes 1 through 26. Yep. The most underrated manga in my collection is right here. That's it. I won't talk about it anymore, but if you want to ask me the most underrated manga in my collection, it's Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches. Um, then we have A Silent Voice, volumes 1 through 7, complete. There we go. Then I have Children of the Whales, volumes 1 through 18. That's up to date or nearly. Um, I'm sure I have the next volume pre-ordered. So, you know, this is another one that I've only read five volumes of, and I just bought them and then stopped reading it until I could let some volumes pile up and now I have way too many volumes piled up so you know it happens uh then I have two year eternity volumes 1 through 14 this is not up to date because I stopped collecting here because the manga is pissing me off so bad I hate it but it's kind of so bad that I just want to keep watching it or in this case reading it to see what happens um and to see if it gets any better because I do like this author and I feel like she can fix whatever has gone wrong <laughs> um but for now this is where it's sitting at volume 14 and then i have little leo which is very sad for no reason and down here we have uzui tengen uh rangoku another uzui and nezuko in front of the demon slayer box set which is beautiful uh so beautiful i had to sell all my volumes and then buy the box set just so i could display it like this on its own shelf then i have the spinoff um stories of water and flame which i have not read yet all right, down here I have Yona of the Dawn, volumes 1 through... What volume of this is that? 34. Um, I believe that's up to date, or the next volume just came out and still hasn't arrived to me. Um, recently caught back up to this. I love it. Uh, next is Dawn of the Ar Arcana. I can't say that word for some reason. Volumes 1 through 13, complete. Requiem of the Rose King, volumes 1 through 14. That's up to date. And then I have Ascendance of a Bookworm, volume 1 or part one, volumes one through three, that's complete, and then part two, volumes one through four, I believe that's also complete. Um, out of the first two parts, I think there's like five parts out right now, or something like that. Then down here I have Banana Fish, volumes one through 19 complete. Really sad manga, but really great. I have Doll, volumes one through six, which is about robots, I believe. And then I have, uh, that's complete, and then Not Your Idol, volumes one and two. Then I have Angel Sanctuary, volumes one through 20, complete. The only reason I have this is because I saw it for really cheap at Half Price Books. I just bought the whole series, um, and the art is beautiful, but I haven't read it yet. And then I bought these two, The Kane Saga, Volumes 1 through, I'm just gonna say 5, complete, and then Godchild, Volumes 1 through 8, complete. Then I have the Akira 35th Anniversary box set down here. Um, it's really sad. I have to hide it away down here, but it just doesn't fit anywhere else. Um, so that's where it exists. And then in here, I have Helsing 1 through 3, which is even more sad than Akira, because it lives in here, because I couldn't fit it anywhere else. Then I have some Agretzico books. And yeah, that's it for this shelf. I'm sitting on the ground again, if you can tell. Then I have up here, above my bed, I have a jackalope plushie, because I really like jackalopes. And then I have Hinomaru Sumo, volumes 1 through 28. This is complete. These are obviously all in Japanese. I cannot read them. But I love this series, and so I bought them in Japanese just to have them. 
And then I have a little Ace Funko because it doesn't fit on the One Piece shrine. Also, I don't even like Ace that much, so he lives here. And finally, we have the One Piece shrine that I just mentioned. Um, the One Piece shrine is in a bit of disrepair. It probably looks very different from last time, but it still could be improved. But this is what it looks like for now. Um, we're going to start up here. I have the Blu-rays. Those ones on the left are like collector's editions or something that I got on Amazon. So that has the first 12 collections. Then I have through 18. And then I realize I don't know why I'm buying the anime for One Piece when I don't even watch the anime for One Piece anymore. Um, but I guess I just have them for collection purposes. And then I have uh, Strong World and Stampede. These are my two favorite One Piece movies, with Stampede being my definite favorite. Then I have this Zoro figure, which is very expensive. And unfortunately, my cats knocked it off of the bookshelf. So Zoro sword broke, which is very sad. I have the part. I just haven't fixed it yet. Uh, this right here is where I'm not really happy with this shrine. Um, I like the volumes like this, but these up here, they don't fit anywhere else, but they were kind of being damaged the way I had them before. So I put them here. Um, these are extras that came with the first three box sets when I got them a long time ago. And I have the two light novels following Ace, which I have not read. And then this is a light novel in Japanese that I cannot read, but I bought it because I wanted it. Um, down here, I have the nine Straw Hat Funko Pops. Last time I filmed this, someone told me that that Brook Funko Pop is worth like $350, which is really funny because it just lives here. <laughs> and yep, I'm not going to sell it because then it wouldn't fit. My collection would be incomplete. So, you know, but yes, I know that that is worth $350. Um, I bought it at Hot Topic for like 12 when it came out. And then I have the carrot section of the One Piece Shrine, or the carrot shrine on the One Piece Shrine, if you will. Um, so I have this figure is a Portrait of Pirates carrot figure, I believe. I don't know much about figures. I just know that I want to collect all the carrot ones, so I've done that. This one is a cheaper one than that one, but I actually like this one better. This one is a really cheap price figure, but it's the only one that has carrot in her Sue Long form besides that one over there. Um, so I bought it. It was pretty cheap as well. Then I have these four little tiny ones. I believe these are called World Collectible Figures. I have each one of those. There's another one releasing soon. I have that one on pre-order. Then I have some random keychains um, with carrot. This one has chopper with it. And this one is really ugly, but I keep it there anyway. And uh, then down here I have the rest of the volumes up through 98, which is uh, up to date. When I get volume 99, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't think it will fit there. And I don't want to rearrange my entire shrine again. So, you know, for now, it exists like this. Then I have big Kiku and little Kiku. And then I have the most beautiful figures in my collection. The crying Usopp, Frankie, and Robin figures. Because look at them. They're beautiful. Then I have this cool light that I got um, from the Manga Tube Secret Santa event. I got this and some other stuff. And then I have the Stampede. Um, promotional little poster I got for seeing the Stampede movie in theaters. Then I have this terribly ugly Chopper Funko Pop, but <laughs> it's kind of adorably ugly, but it is really ugly. But, you know, it's for the collection. Then I have this Zoro figure from Mono and this adorable Zoro and Chopper keychain on a motorcycle. And here's where things get kind of ugly. So first I have this Zoro figure. I have a matching Sanji figure because that's a necessity. Um, my cats broke his sword again. Um, so his swords live down here because I don't want them chewing on the swords and breaking more stuff. This is a cheaper figure, so it's not as sad as that one up there breaking, but it's still sad because his swords are important. And then I have the Sanji figure, which really I, I only bought so it can match the Zoro figure. Then I have this Robin figure. I bought the matching Nami figure, but it isn't here yet because it's delayed or something. I'll get it eventually. Um, then in the back are the Viver cards, which are like data cards you can buy, collectible data cards. They're only in Japanese, so I can't read them, but I do have all of them, I believe, um, just for collection purposes. Then I have this cute bookmark and this little pirate ship that really has nothing to do with One Piece except for it looks like it would belong in One Piece, so I put it there. Uh, and then down here I have some random stuff. I have two One Piece Stampede figures, Zoro and Sanji again. And then I have this kid figure. Um, he doesn't fit anywhere else, so he goes there. Uh, then I have this little plate. 
I don't have a stand for it. If you know where I can get a stand for this little plate, please let me know. Um, when I do, it has carrot on it, so I'll go put it on the carrot section of the shrine. Um, but for now, it lives here. And then back there, I have my Chainsaw Man androids that I got like two months ago. But I haven't put them up yet because I haven't had the motivation to put them up yet. And finally, you can see that these are torn apart because my cats like to open them and go in there. Um, but we have some Japanese volumes. So this is a random volume of Astro Boy I got in a giveaway. This is volumes 1 through 4 of Promise Everland. Volumes 10, 16, and 19 of Haikyuu. This is Wanted, which is the manga um, the author of One Piece did before One Piece. And then some random One Piece volumes. I don't know what those are. I can't remember, but I bought them a long time ago. And this one, I believe, is a little promotional thing for Film Gold. Yep, that's what that is. I have Vinland Saga, volume 11, and another one in there. I don't know where it is. There's another one in there. And then I have uh, Shirokuma Cafe in Japanese. I can't read those, but... I bought these because I think that Kodansha should have picked these covers for the hardcover volumes instead of the ones that they did pick. So I bought those out of spite. Um, but yeah, that's my entire manga collection. Like I said, if you have any questions about any of the manga I talked about, please let me know those questions down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Also, if you're wondering like, hey, where is this manga that's really popular? Why don't you have it? Chances are either one, I haven't read it and I don't care about it. Two, I have read it and I don't care about it, so I got rid of it. Or three, um, I just haven't bought it yet, but chances are it's not that one. Chances are it's one of the first two. Like, for example, Attack on Titan, I used to own, I read it, and I dropped it because I liked the anime better. Um, then I went back and read it all, technically, but I got rid of my volume, so I don't have them anymore. So some stuff like that, chances are I probably had it at one point, or I just don't care about it. <laughs> if you don't have a question, please let me know your favorite manga that I have in my collection. I'd love to know those opinions as well down below. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!